clock ringing at the break of dawn. He doesn't know the side of the bed he's on. One eyed Jack stumbles out into the hall. He gotta get his motor running if he's gonna make a bucket at all. My name is Lou Junkins. That's L O U J U N K I N S. Lou's pretty direct and has a really me attitude. Rocking out with the band. What people don't understand is you can hot rod an airplane just like you can a, a Harley or a 55 Chevy. Bigger motors, strip it down, lighten it up, take it out, and tear it up. My first flight was with Lou. I spent the entire flight with my asshole clenched in fear. I don't like to take things too seriously. I like to have fun. Jethro and I dig through the one ads and the classifieds and go on the internet and find good deals on project airplanes. Jethro is like the son I'm glad I never had. But he'll crawl around in any nasty garage we get into. And help me pull out any pile of junk and uh, drag it home. So we get it home, we get it into the shop. This is a project that was never completed. The deal rod that sold me this thing told me that he had it all together and that everything fits and works right. But the problem is, it don't fit. Reshape this. I've got to turn this thing around fast. But the kind of customer that's going to buy a plane like this is going to be picky. Everything has to be perfect. Could be going a lot quicker if Lou's hot breath wasn't on the back of my neck every five minutes. Get it done yesterday, all right? Or I'll have to fire you again. Turns out we're missing a lot of stuff. So I've got a parts list put together. I'm going to take it into Avery. And she gets to call the parts guy. She loves dealing with the parts guy. Parts guys are the worst part of my job. Whenever you call, the first thing they do is put you on hold for like 15 minutes. Uh, yes, I'm on hold. They're playing country for the whole music. The music they play, I, I can't stand the music they play. And also your part that you want is never in stock. We have a major, major problem with the pits. I spent half of everything I have in the shop on this plane. But if I can't get these wings to fit, I'm not just losing money, I'm losing my shop. I'm looking at engine rebuilding, avionics, electrical, fiberglass. A lot, a lot of work. But it's worth it to see these planes in the air where they belong. In essence, we take busted hearts and broken dreams, and we turn them into flying machines. So can we call this the armpits? No. I'm thinking maybe like... Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe just we'll just call this a pits. <laughs>